All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. As this game is called L.A. Noir, but I'm just going to start calling it L.A. Noir from now on, just because I'm not French. So let's just keep it with that. I'm Detective Phelps. We received a call about a domestic disturbance in apartment 803. Oh, the detectives. Listen, Mrs. Bishop's pretty upset. Uh, take the elevator and then left down the corridor. It's the last door on the right. Okay. Take the elevator. Come on in, dude. Let's go. Sounds like we're about to make it a hat trick of hysterical female witnesses. Down the corridor, last door on the right. Number 803. It's 801. That's 802. And... 803. LAPD, ma'am. Are you in danger? I'm alright now. You just missed them. Horrible, awful men. Are you injured, Mrs... Mrs. Bishop. Gloria Bishop. Please, come in, officers. I'll just need to sit down for a moment. Forgive me. That's perfectly normal, ma'am. Just look at this mess! We'll take a quick search of the premises, ma'am. You take a moment to gather your thoughts. I... I will. Thank you, officer. I don't think this is going to help us. Okay. Optimistic call. Probably nothing. All right. Well, I'm just investigating everything. Watch out, dude. What do we got here? This isn't what we're looking for. Some lipstick? How about a ring? I doubt it. Okay. How about the brush? Don't think this is anything. Uh oh, we got a bank check here. What do you have to do to earn twenty thousand dollars? Doesn't give me anything to go on. Okay, so so far we've got a bank check for twenty thousand. Presented to Mark. Gay cowboys, is that what that says? Interesting. Uh oh, we got some cash in here. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Is this a cigar box? This doesn't pertain to the case. Okay. Great Wall of Babylon, a replica of a replica. Let's keep let's keep searching for clues. We got here a book of matches. Seems irrelevant. What about the drink? No good to me. Well, I'm just searching for clues, man. That's what we're supposed to be doing here. Doesn't tell me anything. What about this thing? Probably nothing. But everything here is going to be relevant.
Oh. Nothing significant. So the kitchen's really got nothing in it. What have we got here? Nothing. No. All right. So anything in this room? Silver screen. Who are these men in the picture? My husband, Mark, and Marlon Hopgood. They work together on occasion. That's Hopgood's shop. Okay. An old, Circumstantial. An old record. Okay, guys, I don't think we really have got much of anything else to go on here. Let's check this balcony. There's the set. Hollywood's own little piece of Babylon. Huh. Alright, let's talk to her then. Domestic disturbance. Those men. I think they work for Guy McAfee. Do you know the name? No. Why should I? June Ballard is married to Guy McAfee. Have you heard of her? That slut. She's been badgering my husband for days. Mrs. McAfee alleges that your husband tried to kill her and her friend last night. I think you should tell us what you know. My husband's a movie producer. This has something to do with his new picture. He doesn't include me in his business. Hmm. I don't think she's telling the truth there. June Ballard said she had a deal to be in his new picture. Mark repeatedly told her no. He had Joan Leslie lined up for the role. That's how he got the finance. June made all kinds of threats. She was very rude to me. You know June Ballard? We were both on the same picture a few years back. That's how I met my husband. Okay, so whereabouts of Bishop? Where can we find your husband, ma'am? He told me he would be on set. That's all I know. Okay. Either we find him, or McAfee's people do, Mrs. Bishop. If you care for him, you should make sure that we find him first. I do care for him. But I don't really know where he'd go if you were in trouble. Hopgood might know. Okay, what about this check for 20 grand we found? Why is your husband paying Lorna Hopgood $20,000? Lorna? Marlon's ex-wife? Are you sure? Your husband looks like he's being blackmailed. They obviously have something on him if he's prepared to kill to cover it up. Why is the payment going to Hopgood and not McAfee? Lorna works at a check cashing place in Hollywood. You need to ask Hopgood why he needs that much money in cash. Your husband is in trouble. It could go easier for him if you were more helpful, Mrs. Bishop. He's a big boy, detective, and so are you. This is Hollywood. There's always a deal to be done. Okay, then. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, detective? I need a location on a silver screen prop store. Just a moment. Silver screen props. Corner 3rd and Figueroa. Thanks for your help. Alright, that's where we're going. Let's go. Come on, partner, let's go. An aging movie star, a wannabe starlet, and movie producer's wife. They finally rubbing shoulders with the almost rich and famous. 
from the stories they've given us, clearly none of them can act. All right. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Uh, silver do screen we know props. Where we're going? Yes, we do. That's where we're going. Take us there, partner. Let's do it. Mrs. Bishop knows more than she's letting on. She doesn't seem to realize how much trouble her husband is in. The LAPD are the least of their worries right now. Eh. You'd think she'd have gotten the hint after those hatchet man redecorated her apartment. Maybe she's just loyal. Or she's in on it. She didn't seem like your average giddy broad with nothing between the ears. Or she might just be trying to buy enough time for Bishop to put a couple of oceans between him and McCaffrey. That's a good possibility. Maybe he's trying to skip down. <laughs> Here we are. Silver screen props, 10.39 a.m. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we're going to wrap up this episode of L.A. Noir. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you as we continue this case. We'll see you guys then.